Ooh, what's up guys and welcome to the video from me to Skyrender and uh, as a few guys know um, I am a part of the LBA this season, season 6 obviously and uh, this episode is definitely long over too and uh, I will already pick 10 months and uh, I really want to showcase them to you guys it's it's kind of hitting us in uh, in mid season or in the end of the season of the TBU so it's actually kind of nice that once the TBU is over, that I'm going over to the LBA and it's going to pretty much take over that schedule. So I think that these two leads actually overlap each other really nicely. And uh, yeah, basically I'm here to show you guys my 10 picks and my hopes of the LBA this year. And this is the first time I actually get to draft my complete team on my own. And I'm actually quite satisfied with it. A lot of weird picks are in the end, but they are to be expected. But uh, yeah, anyway, without further ado, let's go into our first pick. First one up is Charizard, and uh, Charizard X to be even more specific. Um, don't really know how much I really need to say about this mod. As you guys know, this is a very, very powerful mod, and I'll probably say that this is the best mod in uh, any league. It's a potentially the best wall breaker I can think of, and definitely potent sweeper with a dragon dance behind it. It's really good, and his actions to recovery, it hit hard, and Tough Claws only makes it that much worse. So I can't really explain it too much. I wanted Landorus, so I actually from the beginning, but it actually got banned sadly. But Charizard is, uh, is just as good, to be honest. Um, it's definitely something that I will use really, really often. And uh, Fire Dragon, very, very good defensive type, with not a whole lot of issues. And yeah, basically this guy is... Actually suits my place out really well, and I'm really glad I picked that one up. Second up is Thunderous, and yeah, I mean there are very very few really good electric bonds in um, overall. To be honest, they usually have the same kind of agenda behind them, being really good specially oriented, uh, having usually a really really bad move pool. And uh, hits hard, are fast, and Thunderous fits that role also, of course, but has a bit more broader move pool and has access to, of course, a Prankster, which actually with Thunder Wave and Nasty Plot and even Taunt makes it really, really flexible. I liked it in the TBU, uh, even though I don't use it that often. It, when it when it is usable, as one would say, it's really good. It is definitely teams in the LBA that are struggling against this kind of mon. So I think that this is the best electric mod you can kind of pick up uh, outside of you, Megas, of course. And uh, yeah, basically I needed a strong electric type and Thunderous fits are all just fine. Next one up is Keldeo, and Keldeo was really, really good last season. I didn't use it often, but when I used it, I used it to its full advantage. Keldeo fits the role of one of the few war types that had actually an offensive presence. It's really high special attack. It is fast, which is something that is not too common with water types or fighting type for that reason. So, its stabs is really, really nice to any team. Usually, Kelio will find a role very, very easily. I was pretty surprised it was unpicked until round two and three, which obviously I was the first one to pick. Um, yeah, not too much more to say about it. It's a really good mod. Uh, it has a few issues, but those issues are actually kind of patched up with the previous two picks. And uh, basically, I'm hoping that I can use Keldeo more flexible this year than I did previous year, because obviously I was not accustomed to it that well, which I am now. So that's why it's here. And the fourth pick was Tyranitar. And yes, I will agree on most people that this was probably one of the more too early picks, as one would say. But Tyranitar fits the role of being... Well, how do you say it? Very, very nasty move pool. And, you know, Sandstream helps out with a special defensive bulk, which I'm kind of, until now, is un unpresent, basically. I don't have really a lot of bulk here. And Tyranitar fits the role of actually surviving a few hits. And it has issues, it has weaknesses, but they are pretty much patched up by the previous three picks. And Tyranitar overall is a mod that can set up rocks and it got access to a pretty nasty special move pool as a high special attack for pull that off. And you know, rock step is really nice. As you guys have seen the TBU with the NG, it's nothing to really shrub at. It's definitely gonna hit you hard. And Tyranitar just really solves that issue for me. Outside of that, Tyranitar was a good pick overall 
for a lot of other trainers that I was seeing because there were mons that were picked that were sand oriented and picking up Tyranitar, which I actually believe is the best sand setter, just make sure that those teams that were creating a pretty nasty sand team was not come to fruition. I had to hinder them and Tyranitar actually hindered them kind of well depending on if it was going to be picked or not. So Tyranitar is both a sushi choice but also a good choice for my overall. And after this I actually picked Tangrove. And most think, you know, I think most of you guys think, what an Arumon? Why? You have no idea how good Tangrove is. I really can't define it better than that. Tangrove, which is very, very, very defensively bulky, uh, can deal with a lot of mons in actually higher tiers. I feel Tangrove is more potent in OU than it is in RU, for example. It doesn't really pack a punch when it comes to its offensive move pool. While it's very varied, which is something that is very, very good on it, it still is, you know, not as strong. It doesn't hit that hard. You know, it has that kind of niche going for it. But overall, Tangrove is super powerful um, in the defensive aspect, and it can hit a lot of mods super effectively, which is something I'm going to take into account when I'm using it. And overall, um, Tangrove is flexible, which is something I highly regard as necessary for any league. So, while being a weaker mon itself, the matchup that it's going up against is going to work really well. And after using Shaman in TBU, I'm definitely comfortable using just pure grass types for its defensive capabilities because it does have issues but having a resistant hit for earthquake outside of something that's floating is incredibly important and picking Tangrove also helped me pick up my neck and that bond be of course Tentacruel. I need a rapid spinner of course but Tentacruel overall is incredibly fast like I underrate how much NASCAR uh, Tentacruel really is 100 base speed, it's nothing to scruff at, and it has access to a really pretty nasty move pool. Poison and Water as complete stab is actually really dangerous. It hits a lot of things, at least neutral. There's not a lot of things that actually resist that. And just overall, Rapid Spinner, um, like I said, obviously, it has access to Mirror Code, and uh, just overall, it's kind of tough to kill. It does, it isn't without issues, of course. Much like in Polio on TV for me. It will struggle, but um, it won't struggle as much because of the team around it, which will be flexible for it to work around. And obviously, it is kind of bulky, it's kind of hard to kill, so hopefully Tentacruel will do well with me in this turn. And the last four mods that I picked are kind of niche, but at the same time, they're really necessary. I was now looking at what you call... I needed a typing advantage, I needed a lot of typings with me, and most of the good fair types were gone, pretty much was gone um, as the first three rounds basically. Florius was uh, accessible at this time, but I don't have a psychic type, and psychic, the only psychic type that I was considering at this point was Alex and Sam, but Gardevoir fits the both, the, the, and it's actually pretty much all I needed, because that means I can actually make my last three picks that much more in depth with my team. Gardevoir has access to Healing Wish, it has great stabs, it's a good mood pool. And I'm actually looking forward to using this because I haven't seen the regular Gardevoir in League plays. And I think I could use it really well. It has good abilities that will hinder a few, a few of my opponents. And just overall, hopefully this guy will work just nicely. Or should I say her. And the pick I did after this was a Dewblade. Now, I'm not a big fan of Dewblade. I'm really not, but I don't have a Spin Blocker. And I don't have a steel type. Dewblade just fixed that for me. Uh, its defensive typing is actually really nice in leagues. It can definitely shut down a lot of mounts. And I'm actually quite satisfied with this pick. And the shout out to Ellis, of course, um, which was helping me draft. And uh, he really saw this as an opportunity since it was undrafted. And it actually counters a lot of potent mounts in the league. So Dewblade is definitely something that. Is kind of um, what do you say, An underdog here. But the, the teams it works against, it works really, really well, and it fills the purpose of being defensive, which is something I actually will say I lack. No, Tangrove did solve a bit of that, but Dublay can just continue that road, and I think this will turn out really nicely. Now the last two picks are picks I really, really was considering if I should or should not do. And I have four trades this in this league, so hopefully, if I'm not satisfied with how they perform, I will 
<laughs> switch them out, but we'll see what happens. Sand Slash is of course inferior Excadrill. It has Sand Rush, which is really nice, but then again with Tyranitar. And it has a 100 base attack, which is nothing too bad. And contrast with Sword Stance, it could actually set up and hit something really hard. It has access to knockoffs, so it can actually force a lot of things out. And Earthquake hurts a lot of mons. So I think I'll use Snap Slash when I have the chance. And having access to Stealth Rock and Rapid Spin is super helpful. It, it comes down to that it is a flexible mon with issues. So if the matchup aren't in its favor, it's not going to be used. But we'll see what happens. But I'm actually staying positive. I really like Snap Slash. It's one of my favorite mons. And uh, I hope it takes the task seriously. <laughs> Now our last pick is Stoutland, and uh, I don't think he needs any introduction. He ended up being the MVP of the Scandinavian Stoutlands, of course, previous season. Um, now here's the thing, Stoutland is not a great mon, it, it has issues, a lot of them, but in leagues this kind of guy kind of come through, I really wanted Stoutland in my team, and together with Tyranitar, there will be a lot of teams that will struggle against the power that this guy brings. Now, not all the team will struggle, but the few that does will suffer hard. And um, basically, Stoutland has a really broad boot pool, and uh, I don't see this guy having too much issues this time around. Uh, the move pool definitely com complicates things for my opponents because it might get hit super effectively, but it will hit it back and probably kills most of its opponents if they're able to outspeed in the first place with Sand Rush, of course. So yeah, that's the Scandinavian Stoutland, and here of course are the complete team, and if you see the big, nasty Charizard in the background, I'm actually quite satisfied with this picture, I think this was kind of cool, it's not a hard setup to be honest, but uh, yeah, that's the team. Um, I'm actually quite satisfied with this team, like I said, my four last picks being of course, Dublade, Gardevoir, Sandslash, Stoutland, they were not the strongest picks that were around at that point, and I'll actually acknowledge that. Gardevoir probably is a pretty good choice, Dublay is a good choice to consider my team, but Stoutland and of course Sandslash are definitely weaker mons picked to actually suit the rule of the synergy that I'm building for, and if they work or not, it's, it's up to see basically. We're gonna hit this up very very soon, they, actually I uploaded this the week for the first match has started already, so we'll see what happens. I hope to win this league of course this time around, I'm, I'm, I'm staying positive. Um, I did well previous season because of uh, my overarching kind of presence playing hyper offensively. This team helps me play just that, uh, which is something I've been looking forward to actually be doing because I've struggled, like I said, previous season of actually having too much defensive mons uh, like Shansi, for example, definitely being uh, a mon that I think are too hard to use for me. Um, or it's not hard to use, it is that the contrast what I'm bringing usually makes it kind of hard to use efficiently. So that is pretty much it. Um, we'll see how these teams perform and uh, like I said I have 4 trades and I'll consider them, uh, I'll probably do even 2 or 3 trades before week 4 to be honest, depending on what's happened. I I will see how this team performs and obviously I will look into the mods that are undrafted. There are a lot of good mods left. And, um, yeah, I need to consider them, I really do. Um, yeah, I don't think it's too much to say. I will make another update uh, as the week goes on with uh, when these battle heads off. You know, in, in contact with TBU, um, they, these games will not be as important since it's just the beginning of the playoff. We should do well anyway, but the TBU comes first since we're actually looking into a playoff position now. Obviously, I'm recording this with one game left behind me, so I could be wrong, and if I am, then the LPA is on the table directly. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this, I hope you guys liked the team. Um, I can't go into too much detail on what I want to do with it, because I will actually give away a few of my strategies, which will not be... Well, let's face it, they should not be shown here, and it will be shown afterwards. Anyway guys, I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, which hopefully will be the updates. So until then guys, take care. Bye.